Uh, well, I mean, I visited there three times, and you know, each time the coaching staff was just great to me and my family. They made us feel like a part of the Red Hawk family. Uh, obviously, I love the football, you know, the coaches and, and you know, the style they run, and the, I love the conference, the MAC, but also the academics and and you know, just the campus and the city of Oxford. I felt like it was the right fit for me. Yeah, what makes you a good fit for them on the football field? Because it sounds like, you know, you played a lot of positions, uh, both on offense and defense for Columbia City, but it looks like they got you as a slot receiver. So uh, how do you fit into what they do? Oh, uh, well, I mean, the whole conference of the MAC, you know, they kind of, all the teams in the MAC use the receivers well. And, you know, especially Miami, you know, they have a receiver right there right now that uh, he had almost 100 catches last year at the slot back position. So I think I can come in and I can do that for them as well at slot. As far as uh, the other schools that were looking at you, who did you choose Miami over? Well, I had, I, I had Purdue, Indiana, uh, Ball State, um, Northwestern, Western Michigan, Bowling Green, uh, Army. Um, I had offers from St. Francis, Tiffin, and Eastern Illinois also. And, you know, I just I visited most of these schools. And, you know, I was on campus, and, and you know, Miami just felt special. And it, it felt like, uh, you know, they really made me feel welcome there, and I just felt like that was the right fit. To a degree, does it take a little bit of pressure off knowing that, you, you know, you're one of the, I think they've got two other commits right now, so you're an early commit for 2013 for them. Does it kind of take the pressure off of you as far as the recruiting circuit goes and allow you to focus on what the, what the Eagles are going to do here this coming fall? Um, definitely, you know, uh, you know, it was a, it was a it was a busy process. It was a long process, and you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of long days, a lot of hard work put in. And now that I've committed, I kind of sit back and you know, focus on Columbia City season and continue to work hard and and just prepare myself for the future. What's it like knowing that, you know, you're not the tallest guy in the world, but that the school kind of looks past that, not looks past that, but realizes your talent. A D1 school realizes your talent. That has to be something uh, pretty awesome for you. Oh, it feels real good. You know, a lot of schools told me, you know, the reason they didn't pull the trigger on me is because of my size. So for Miami to have faith in me and believe in me, even though I am, you know, a little bit smaller, it, it means a lot to me. What are you most looking forward to about getting on to campus on Oxford and competing on the D1 level? Uh, definitely just to, you know, get to know my teammates well and just to go out there and compete with them and try to try to win a MAC title and, you know, make it, make it, make it to a bowl game and hopefully win a couple bowl games while I'm there. Anything else you'd like to add? No, thank you.